Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm gonna to share with you the top five hidden features on the new model Forester. So this is gonna be applicable to a 2019, a 2020, 21, and 22 model. I recently made a video covering the top five hidden features on the Subaru Outback. If you want to watch that, you can click on the YouTube card above and that will take you to that video. But anyways, I wanted to do the same thing for the Forester because there are some unique things specifically to the Forester that I wanted to show you guys. Before we hop inside the car, if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to make weekly videos related to Subarus. So if you enjoy that type of content, then please click the subscribe button down below. If you get value out of this video, I'd really appreciate it if you click the like button. So go ahead and hop in the car and I'll show you guys this first feature. So the very first feature I wanted to show you guys is called AVH. That is auto vehicle hold. Here's the button to activate it. And what that does is it will allow you to come to a complete stop and let your foot off the brake to rest your foot at say a long light, if you're waiting for a train to pass or you're sitting in traffic. So that way you're not cramping up your foot and you don't have to put it in park. So I'll show you how this works. So you click the AVH button right here. It'll light up green on the dash. So that is what it looks like. So now we'll go ahead and put it in drive. And we'll come to a complete stop. And you'll see it lights up right there under the AVH with the green circle logo. That will allow you to take your foot off the brake. So my foot is off the brake right now and you can rest. And then in order to proceed, once the light turns green or the traffic ahead moves forward, you just give it gas. That'll automatically release that electronic brake and you can continue moving forward. This feature does not default on. So if I turn the engine off and I turn it right back on, you will see that AVH is no longer lit up. I'm not sure why Subaru makes it default off, but all you have to do, is just go back over here, click that, and it'll turn right back on. I forgot to mention that these features I'm sharing with you guys today are not exclusive to just the higher trim levels. This is a premium package 15, which sits kind of really in the middle of the Subaru trim level line. So the premium package 11 in the Forester and the base models don't have all these features, but for the most part, all these features that I'm talking about are going to be on the majority of the Subaru Foresters that are out there. The second feature we're going to talk about is the memory tailgate. So this is only offered on the premium trim package 15 on up. So again, it'll be on the majority of your Subaru Foresters out there. You'll see the tailgate only goes about 90% of the way up. You can actually have the tailgate open all the way up there, but maybe you're not tall enough to reach these buttons right here or you're going to be parking in a garage or a carport and you don't want the hatch to go all the way up to the full height. And I'm gonna show you how to set that memory setting in just a second. In order to set the memory function on your tailgate, go ahead and open the car up, make sure the car is turned off, let the tailgate open up all the way on its own, and then adjust the height to whatever height that you would like. We'll make it come down quite a bit. And then we're going to go to the front of the car. We're gonna open the driver's side door. There's a button in here you wanna click. So right here, you wanna make sure that is pressed in. Now that that's pressed in, we're gonna go back to the tailgate. We're gonna to come to this button right here, click and hold. You'll hear a beep and flash the lights. That'll tell you that that memory setting is now set. So now we can close it. You can open it with your key fob here or the button that I just used to open it previously. We're gonna use the key fob button. And we'll see that it's only gonna to open to the height that I just set because all the way up looks like this. So now your memory height is set, but maybe you don't always wanna use it. In situations where you don't wanna use that, you just unclick the memory button. And now whenever you open your tailgate with the button on the inside, the button on the hatch, or the button on your key fob, it will open up to the full height. Because we're already on the topic of the tailgate and people always ask me, 
This button right here closes the tailgate. This button right here also closes the tailgate, but it locks all of the doors on the car. So we'll see that. You'll hear it lock. This third feature I'm gonna show you guys has to do with your panoramic sunroof. So obviously, if you've got a panoramic sunroof, it's pretty hard to, to not notice it. So that part is not hidden, but I'm gonna show you a function with this that you may not know about. So we're gonna start the car up. So up here near your dome lights, you've got this back button, which you guys probably already know, that's how you open it. So you can let your finger off, it'll open up. But it stops probably 75% of the way and maybe you wanna open it even more. Well, what you may not know is that if you click that button again, it'll make it go the rest of the way back. So that's how you open your panoramic sunroof on your Forester all of the way. The fourth feature is actually a new one that I just now learned about in all new Subarus, really not just the Forester. And that is whenever you put it in reverse, if you find that your camera lens is a little bit dirty, you can just simply put your windshield wiper uh, fluid on. So that squirts the fluid and it also washes the camera lens off at the same time. So the way I'm doing this is by twisting and holding on the right stock to disperse that fluid. The next feature I wanna share with you guys is not the last one. I do have actually six features I'm gonna share with you in this video, but it is the fifth feature. And that is the ability to have remote start directly from your phone, the ability to control your climate control. So you can set your defrost in the mornings if need be. You can change the, uh, the fan speed of the uh, heat or AC inside the car. You can locate the car, you can lock and unlock the car all remotely from your phone. And that's with a feature called Starlink. So it's with a mobile app. There's Android and Apple versions of this. And that will allow you to control a lot of things on your car that you can't just do with your key fob. So you guys may be familiar with buying a separate key fob, having it programmed and having a remote start, but what if you could do that uh, and more at a lower cost? So with the Subaru Starlink app, when you're buying a new vehicle, it's only $75 for a three year subscription of it. So it is a subscription. If you wanted to do up to seven years, it's $375 for that feature. So it's very low cost in comparison if you were comparing to getting the separate key fob and having your retailer install it, uh, that could easily cost anywhere from three to $500, sometimes more, just depends on the vehicle and what all they have to take apart on the dash to get to that. Another benefit to the Starlink app upgrade is that it also comes with roadside assistance. So if you ever get a flat tire, you run out of gas, you will have roadside assistance. And you may be thinking, okay, well, I have car insurance for that. So why would I need to have the roadside assistance? My insurance covers that. If you're ever in an accident and your airbags are deployed, a Starlink rep will come on the speakers of the car. If you don't respond, they'll send out first responders to get to you safely. So that's just another added benefit of having that Starlink upgrade with the roadside assistance and the remote start features. If you didn't get the Starlink upgrade when you bought your car new, don't worry, you can still get it. It is a little bit more expensive, but just contact your sales rep and they'll be able to set that up for you. Here goes the geese. That's how you know it's about to start getting cold around here. This last feature I wanna show you guys has to do with reverse automatic braking. So this feature is only on your mid trim level on up for Subaru line, but to see if you have it, just put it in reverse and you'll see RAB, which stands for reverse automatic braking right here. So this function will work if you are backing out of a, say you're backing out of a grocery store parking lot, you're, you're trying to get out and you've got cars on either side of you. Well, this will give you a wide angle view of the camera to see if cars are there, but maybe you can't see somebody because they're driving a little bit quicker and you, you don't see them in time. This will audibly alert you with this right here this will automatically break for you if there's an object or a car behind you that you're about to hit. And not a lot of people know this, but you can turn these functions off. So to turn the audible alert off, you can click and hold. Same for the RAB, you can click and hold, and that'll turn it off. Now you may be asking yourself, why would you wanna turn those off? Those are safety features. Well, one, you may find that annoying, and two, if you have a luggage rack back here, a bike rack, or you're pulling something, you're towing it, you might wanna be able to turn those off. If you ever put it in reverse 
and you notice that this sonar alert, the audible alert is always turned off, put it back in park and go over here to the menu screen in the center of your display. So in order to get to your menu, you can use these up arrows and down arrows to toggle between the different menu, see different vehicle information, but you're gonna wanna get to where it says pull and hold the I slash set. So we pull and hold this and that will bring us into a menu screen. And then we toggle down with this down arrow until we get to where it says RAB. And then pull this to select, that'll bring you into the menu screen. And then select again by pulling it. And it'll say that it's turned off. So we wanna go over and we wanna to toggle this to on and then pull the I slash set again. And there you go. So now that is turned on always as a default versus being off. So now whenever we put it in reverse, that will default on all of the time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to click the like button, leave any questions down below in the comment section, and I will see you in the next one.